We're going to stay with the dollar. Our next guest says she believes the greenback is poised to stabilize amid more aggressive ECB and BOE hiking paths toward the end of the year. It comes amid growing evidence that Fed tightening has started to weigh on the U.S. economy, fueling expectations the central bank will temper the pace of its rate hikes. Joining us in studio, we've got Morgan Deldone. She's Global X ETF's head of investment strategy for Europe. Uh, Morgan, good to talk to you today. And it's certainly fitting when we've started to see a bit of a pullback in the dollar. I was thinking back to even a month ago where we had guests on who were saying it's going to remain high for a very long time. Feels like we made a pivot pretty quickly. Absolutely. I think we are in a turning point because when you look at the rate differential uh, going forward and looking at the path the ECB and the Bank of England are taking uh, as an aggressive, at least as aggressive as the Fed or even more in the near term, uh, the rate differential won't lead to stronger dollar. Then you look at the US economy starting to fill the higher interest rates um, and probably going to a soft lending scenario. So overall, from an economic standpoint, interest rate standpoint, it seems that the dollar is poised to stabilize with increasing downward pressures. What's the expectation on your end and how exactly the Fed moves next? I mean, yes, to your point, there's been sort of slowly this expectation building in about uh, the Fed maybe at least pausing or, or slowing those rate hikes, but we've got another meeting just around the corner. What are you anticipating then? I think it's really too early to say that the Fed is going to pose like on its hit rate hikes. I, I do think that the the main input for the Fed's decision to continue to prescribe 75 basis points is coming from inflation data. And I do see a case that the Fed continues at this pace until it sees a real inflection point in the CPI numbers, which is not yet, yet materialized. So I, I, I do think that the Fed is going to continue to hike 75 basis points next week and potentially in December, uh, but then we'll be not far off the 5% mark, which is probably the, or very close to, to the peak for the Fed's fund rate this, this cycle. The Fed has, has really been leading the way in terms of how quickly they move, how aggressively they move. When you look at major central banks around the world, you mentioned the ECB, the BOA, of course, the Bank of Japan. Um, <clears throat> in Europe, though, we've already seen a pullback, mm -hmm. and, and the expectation seems to be going into the winter, things could get even worse when you think about where energy prices are going. Um, how aggressively do you think the ECB, for example, will need to move as a result of that? Because they have been moving just a little step behind the Fed. I think we have already passed the peak pessimism across Europe. I think now the, the economic outlook is um, becoming more stabilized, which also will help stabilizing the euro a dollar currency pair. Because I think um, when you look at the reserves in terms of energy, we are 88% full. Um, we, are, we have very uh, little leverage left on Russia uh, in terms of gas imports. Um, it's about 9% now of what we consume. Uh, we, you also look at the, the economic data. They haven't reflected um, a, a massive downturn. They are looking at some softness, but nothing that is critical. So looking ahead with all this fiscal stimulus coming in continental Europe um, and it, it really gives the ECB the power to step up in terms of interest rate hikes um, and bearing in mind that they are starting from a much lower base than the Fed. So playing catch up there, I think. Uh, finally, really quickly, I know you're focused on Europe, but the Bank of Japan increasingly in focus here. Uh, we've seen two interventions as far as we know in terms of the currency markets. You've got uh, the governor there, um, Kuroda, stepping down in April, and yet there's still questions about whether, in fact, they're going to pull back on this yield curve control, given where rates have moved. How big of a risk, when you look at it from the European perspective, how big of a risk does what's happening over in Japan pose? I think it's, it's so far, Japan, the, the Bank of Japan has kept its accommodative stance despite other central banks uh, increasing. So I don't think there will be a massive U-turn in, in Japan. Um, and I think um, if you look at toward the end of the year, uh, the risk of having a more hawkish uh, stance from the Fed, Bank of England and, and ECB is, has, be, has reduced dramatically, which will help potentially um, reduce the risk of Bank of Japan having a, a, surprise, a, a surprising move in, in the coming months. Cushions the blow a bit. Uh, Morgan Deldone, Global X ETF's head of
uh, strategy there. Uh, good to have you on today.